Hey guys, I'm here doing another video. Today's video is going to be about the Carter, I always say Carter, Cobra Harvester Thumb Release. This release right here that I've been shooting, it's going to be a long-term review. I've been shooting it, I got it like a month after it came out. I've been shooting it for a while now. Um, very good release, very adjustable. Um, but there's a couple things that I think if you're looking at this release that you should know so i'm going to be doing a review on this and there's not many reviews on youtube about it um so i'm going to go through the release um first this thumb button or the thumb barrel um very adjustable this screw right here if you loosen that you can move this thumb barrel 360 degrees up and down um make sure though when you adjust this you really snug it down because if you don't after shot after shot it'll loosen and you'll feel it whenever you're pulling through the shot um so or you know squeezing the trigger however you fire the release doesn't matter um also this right here this little tiny tiny screw know that that little allen inch is literally the smallest allen inch i could find um i did find it at home depot it is very small though um so and also whenever you adjust that a fourth of a turn is going to make your the feel of this release so much different it's going to make it if you're trying to get heavier it's going to be a lot heavier if you're trying to make it lighter a lot lighter it's very sensitive but you can get a lot of adjustment out of it that way also if you are not used to adjusting this make sure before you draw back that you haven't pushed it too far in or too far out because your release will fire on you and punch you in the face. Trust me, I've done it a couple times. <laughs> it is not very fun. Um, also, right here, that little Allen head, if it'll focus. Anyway, it's not gonna focus. But that little Allen head is for your travel of your release. Um, and same thing, very sensitive. Now, that you can also take off this finger right here with that Allen screw right there. Um, and you can put, I'm assuming you can put an Ultra View Funky Finger. I've talked about it before on one of my videos. Um, so you can, and that's very adjustable. And then there's a hole in the middle of the release right here. If you want a wrist strap, if you're newer, or if you're hunting and you want to have it on your wrist, um, I just put it on my string because I hunt whitetail and I sit in the stand or a blind or on the ground or whatever. So I don't really walk around with it very much. Um, also, the way you're going to load this release is you're going to have to put pressure on the thumb barrel and flip it up, and then you're going to have to put it through the D-loop and close it. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so it's it's not the most convenient thing, but it's fine. You're not going to have too much trouble. you get used to it after a while. Um, one thing I do like about this release, the, um, the places where you put your fingers, they are deep enough to where when I draw back, my fingers will not slide. Um, they are, it's, it's very comfortable to hold. It fits my hand very well. Um, it's a very good release. Um, it's, if I remember correctly, it is, with taxes and everything, it's going to run you about $200 on Lancaster Archer Supply. Um, shipping and handling and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be about $200. Um, so not a very expensive release compared to, like, Carter, True Ball, high-end releases. Um, so that is nice. Um, the one thing I do not like about this release is the way they designed this trigger, this big hunk of metal right here, that when, if you're, if you want to like relax into the shot and that kind of stuff, you're going to have to put your thumb around the metal part, or at least you can rest it on the, the metal part. But for me, it's not very comfortable. So I have it to where I can put my thumb around it like this. And it's not hitting that makes sense that's one thing that kind of gets in my way that I kind of don't like um, but other than that it's very comfortable um, and I really like this release um, so it's very I mean I I've been shooting with it you know ever since a month after it came out and I haven't had any problems with it or anything nothing's come loose or anything like that other than I just didn't tighten this down enough and that has come loose um, but other than that it's been a great release so um i'm gonna take a couple shots with it and show you guys how it feels okay as you guys can see i'm gonna show you guys how to um put this on your d-loop so what i do is i just kind of flick it and put pressure on the thumb button and it opens right up you're gonna put it on your d-loop close it like that and then you're good to go so 
like that. And it's, it's very easy, crisp and clean. Um, so now I'm gonna take a couple shots. Okay, that shot was at 40 yards. As you can tell, that was, for me at least, I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it's very crisp and clean, very easy to pull through. There's, it's not a, it's not, rattly is not the word, um, but it's, it's very, very secure and you feel well when you're pulling through. Clean. They'll like, once you start putting pressure on it, it'll kind of feel like it's clicking, I guess you could say. Um, and it's that's just on the cheap really aids. But anyway, my point is, it's very crisp and clean. Um, and, I mean, personally, they, there is other releases I would buy other than this release at this point for the newer releases. Um, but if you're looking to get a high-end release but not spend over $200, it's a very good release. Um, the other release that I would think about getting, one would be the True Ball Goat. One, it's a hinge and a thumb button put together. It's very nice. Um, but that's going to be more of a competition release because it's an open hook and you cannot attach a wrist strap to it. Um, but you, you can hold it in your pocket and release it. It's just going to be a little more hassle, but it's, from what I've heard, I've never shot one. One I've heard is very crisp and clean. And it's very nice. Um, but that is going to run you about $300 um, with tax and everything. So it's a very good release. Um, let's see, other releases. Um, there's not really any other thumb buttons that I can think of right now that I'd rather run other than this one, other than the True Ball Goat. Um, and I still don't know if I'd like that one hunting. So to be honest, it's still my favorite release to hunt with. I'm not going to be getting a new one anytime soon. I'll be using this one for a while. Um, I mean, it's just, a, I can't say enough good things about it. It's a great release. There's no, I mean, for the price, it's very, very affordable. Um, I know the Carters are, every, all of them are $200. Um, if you want to get that, that's not that big of a price jump. To be honest with you, I don't have any reasons I would choose a Carter over that release. Actually, I would, I, I would rather have that release over any other Carters. I've shot Carters. Um, they're very good releases, but... I don't have a reason to shoot them other than, you know, that, that release is so adjustable and everything. Um, so, like I said, the True Ball Goat, um, the True Ball Blade might be another one, but I don't think so. Um, I've shot the True Ball Blade. It is a good release, but to be honest, I don't, I would rather have the Cobra. Um, and then, obviously, if you want to shoot, you, you're wondering if you want to shoot a back tension release uh, or a hinge or a um or a tension activated release where you have to pull through the shot to get it to go off or a thumb button or a wrist strap i used to shoot a wrist strap um to be honest with you I can't, i'm never going back to one again for me the thumb button is way more comfortable just pulling through the shot it's easier to pull through the shot um i know there you can get a wrist strap a little cheaper um they're a lot more affordable, um, but I, I just can't get over the the feel of the thumb buttons. They're so much more comfortable to me. I've shot a hinge. I will be getting a hinge eventually, not anytime soon, <laughs> but eventually I will be getting a hinge for competitive tournaments. Um, I will be using the Ultraview, the hinge by Ultraview. Um, so eventually i'll be doing a review on that release not anytime soon like i said um but like i said this this release is a great release to choose if you have the option um go try it if your friends have it if you can find one at your arch local archery shop or something like that i would recommend going and try other releases um because it's all personal preference so you i might love it and you might hate it it i mean it really you just need to go and shoot releases um 
but yeah that's my video on this release um it's the cobra harvester thumb button release so i'll see you guys later have a good day